Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're out driving around in the mud, the slop, and the snow. We're gonna go after some chickens. Oh no, far shot. Well, we got that one. Uh, right now, with being so muddy and all the snow that we got here the last couple of days, they're usually not out. So uh, if we only get the one, it it's a good day chicken hunting. They really don't like all this mud and snow and junk. So uh, yeah, we got the one. We're gonna keep driving, see if we get another. If not, well, I guess we'll see ya. I'm cleaning my chicken. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it was starting to get a little bit late here and the wind started to pick up too and all the conditions and stuff. So we just packed it in. We got our one little rough grouse here. So now what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna get them all cleaned up and then I'll show you uh, when I get inside what I do with it there to put them into a bowl and uh, get them cooled off. Also here you can see inside their stomach here he's chewing on a bunch of clover and some rose hips so it's that time of year guys you know it's uh, getting into October here now uh, all the berries are pretty well gone so they're starting to eat rose hips and uh, pretty well kind of starting to scavenger a little bit rose hips and a little bit uh, clover what's left of it anyways this one here I hit them slightly low so it's a little bit harder to get them all cleaned up but there we go there you are take some of that off cats like playing with that and we got the old heart we'll give that to Rocky once we're done here basically though Here's what you got. Nice clean bird. It's ready to go with water. So let's head inside out of this wind and uh, out of the cold and all that good stuff. We'll get this sucker chilling and then tomorrow we'll cook them up. Alright, so basically you guys hear me talk about it all the time about putting the chicken in a bowl and all it does is just kind of cools it down and all that stuff and it also kind of firms up the meat a little bit uh, when you try to cut this when it's fresh it's kind of real stringy where if you cool it in the refrigerator overnight then it's nice easy cutting and it cooks up real easy uh, but basically you just need a bowl if you get a lot more chickens bigger bowl and pretty well just fill this up with water then we'll cut the wings off, throw her in there, and that's basically all you gotta do. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So just use any old 
scissors. With these, I just pull that skin back a little bit. And right here, give her a cut. So there's one. Do the same thing on this side. Pull that skin back a little bit. There's two. Pull off what you can with these feathers. Then basically put it in here. There's not quite enough water. Top her up. I like to put them kind of breast side down. You only have a couple. That way if this dries out, it's you're not gonna eat that anyways. Where if you put it where it's breast side up you run the risk of drying up the top of your breast and it's not all that great but anyways now open up the fridge grab your chicken and she goes and now tomorrow we'll pull it out dry it off take it off the bone and uh we'll get to cooking see you then alrighty guys so we made her back into the kitchen and tonight I'm going to be trying my luck and making grouse cordon bleu. But before we start, we got to pull the meat off the bones here. Now for chicken, it's pretty easy. Right here, you got the little wishbone. What I do is I go down the right side first with the fillet knife, one nice long cut. Get to that wishbone, tilt your knife, flip her open. And then you simply just follow the bone down. There you go, one clean chicken. Do it same thing on the other side. Flip her out of the way. Follow that down. There you go, good to go. Uh, one thing that we're gonna be doing, uh, just to kind of simplify things, we're gonna take these chicken tenders, and get them out of there. Do that with both sides. Now what we have to do, is we have to butterfly these. So simply lay her flat. See if I can do this or not. Split her down the middle till she opens up. There we go. Do that both there now we're off to the races now we have somewhere we can put the ham and cheese inside there and uh, yeah let's get to it so for this we're just gonna be using just a cheap little honey ham I uh, don't know how much really I need this stuff here it's pretty thin so maybe what we'll do is we'll just kind of split her down the middle and eh, maybe minus a couple pieces that don't seem like too much but it's on the chicken now so it's staying there and then for the cheese we just got the kind of cheap over three cheese pizza stuff And again, this is just a big experiment for me. I've never actually done this before, so we'll put on about that much. I need a little bit more for this side. There we go. That looks about right. Now, what I'm going to be using is some toothpicks just to kind of hold everything together. Basically take this, wrap it up like a big old cigar, grab a couple of toothpicks,
And there you have it. That that actually might work. Let's roll up the second one here. And there's something like that. That might stick together. We'll see. <laughs> All right, now for the second part here, uh, we have some seasoned flour. Uh, what I got there, it's about half a cup of flour. Uh, this Southwest Chipotle, some salt and some pepper. We have one egg and then some panko breadcrumbs. And with the panko, I just put in, uh, what was it? Basil, rosemary, oregano, thyme, onion, and a little bit of smoked paprika. So now we'll take our chicken, put it into the flour. From the flour, we'll put it into the egg, from the egg, into the panko, and then from the panko, into our hot oil that's been warming up here. And uh, cook till she's nice and golden brown, and see what comes out on the other side. <laughs> All right, so we got all of our chicken breaded up here. We got our cordon blues, and then our little chicken tenders here and here. Can't forget about them, nice little chicken fingers. Our oil is nice and hot. So now we're gonna get our chicken into the frying pan. Now these here, they're already starting to turn dark brown on the outside. And the chicken too, it, it's very, very thin. So we don't have to really cook this for overly too long. Check on our tenders. Give that a flip. Nice and golden brown. Give these a flip. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a plate ready, get some paper towel going. Because then these are going to be done in just a couple of minutes if they keep cooking like this. Then we'll give them one more flip here. Cook each side for another minute or two on each side and then we'll uh, pour out far good enough. Except these chicken tenders here, I think those are done. Pull them off, set them to the side. I don't know guys, I think Shelby might be in for a treat here tonight. Alright, so it's been another minute or two here. So I'm going to give her one more flip. Click on this side for probably about a minute or two again. Then we'll pull them off and we'll be we'll be eating here soon. Alrighty guys, so we got everything pulled off here. And I'm telling you that looks amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a knife, I'm gonna split this sucker in half, and then uh yeah, we'll see what she looks like on the inside. Alrighty, so here goes nothing. Oh, 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 that looks mighty fine. I'm going to cut off a little slice, and I'm going to hand it over to Shelby. Alright, there you go. Grab that little slice in the middle. Alright, let's see how this is. Oh yeah, you're doing this again. <laughs> Top notch, honey. That's not too bad, eh? Oh yeah, that seasoning's perfect too. Right on. Well, successful. 
a couple of rough grout, well, one rough grouse, some seasoned flour, some panko, an egg, another fine meal. Anyways, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, comment, uh, tell us what you want to see next time there for a recipe, and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Hey, hey, so now, you guys want the heart? Here, Rocky, you want that heart? Yeah, of course you do, buddy. <laughs> That's my boy.